Hey fellow space explorers, so I built another ship, this time purely optimized for combat to see how far can you push the needle, how much can you squeeze out of the ship and what will be absolutely the most powerful configuration. And maybe first I will demonstrate you how well it performs and then I will go with the ship build guide step by step how to put it together. And we have some enemies. First, look how easy it is to keep a distance if you want to. You push the boost, boost button and top speed with the boost is over 1100. So I even lost them from the radar. I push it too hard. The shields, the weapons are of course powerful. And I'm testing it on very hard. So let's see. Varum is in there. Level 54, so that's not a low level. Let's open fire. Get even boost towards it. And we have enough power. Enough power to go and destroy it. All the boost approach. It was only one. Let's see if we can have more than one. Now I managed to find two Varum ships. Look with this speed what it can do. You can thrust around with full speed on reverse. That's 280. I'm gaining distance, so I need to slow down a lot to allow them to even close the gap. Going 70 on reverse, so this guy is able to slowly chase me, and there is this guy even farther away. I could kill them before they get in weapon range, but it's more fun to just sprint on them again. Open fire and boost, and it's melted. Before I pass the mark, another one melted. No more enemies. They didn't even hit me and there's no exploit build. It's just so powerful build. The best components to put a fighter together annihilates everything. Now, let me show you how to build it. So we are starting in a solar system, Titan Moon of Saturn. New homestead. And ship technician is just in here on the landing part that you will need to use. Hey, what can I do for you? Scrap whatever ship you are using and we are building now. First piece is a landing bay. Place it. We are attaching habitat on top. I'm choosing the one with crew stations. Four crew stations. Move it straight. As it's a combat ship. All all it needs inside is a crew stations for future proofing. Now we are adding the cockpit. Cockpit is a small Magellan C1X. So we don't need any cargo capacity on this one. Uh, just if you are worried about cargo capacity, if you have a bigger ship, all the cargo will be transferred to the smaller ship when you choose your fighter, even if there is not enough space. It will be just overloaded so you can take out, but you cannot add anymore. Now from this point, we are adding a docker. Standard docker, there is only one that you can put on top. Now in here we'll attach a grab drive. And we need we don't need too big, so we are looking for lower mass. So we are attaching Helios 300 grab drive. It will be more than enough for such a small ship. Then we need to attach reactor. And for the reactor we are intentionally going with class B, Dockstar 104DS Mac Inertia Reactor. The reason for that is that the most powerful weapons are class B and A, so we don't need class C weapons. And class C reactors are much heavier and only offer one extra power, which is definitely not worth it if you are building a fighter. Class B, from my experimentation and testing, is the best option, so this one. From this point, we need a landing gear, we'll attach it in here. And there should be amazing gear, NG20 landing gear. We are just switching to the wide one, so it looks better, like there will be only one leg. So we only need this one, so we attach it in here. Now we'll need some fuel for the grav drive, uh, that will go on this slot. And I went with two H10 Atlas fuel tanks, just because that's the maximum mass we'll be able to attach, and that will give us 400 fuel, as well as it's symmetrical, as I can attach one in here 
and one on this side and I really want to have the symmetry on the fighter to look a little bit better than my Lego type cargo ship. This one will look a little bit better. I hope so. You will be the judges anyway, but I like how it looks. Now we need some uh, structural elements. So in here we are adding from the structural, we need to add Nova calling. So that's a nice finish on this side. Then on the side in here, we need those long callings that will be additional attachments for our weapons. The same on other side. Oh, actually, back in there. Okay, in the spot. Of course, what's missing, obviously, at this point, engines. So we are adding the best currently engines. Experimental World Dwarf 3015 that gives 180 maximum speed. We're attaching two of those engines. It's slowly getting some shape. Now we need to place weapons. I just realized I put those in the wrong spot. Those go on the back, otherwise I block my weapon placements. and <laughs> That cannot happen. So now we are placing weapons. And first one will be Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector. We can place six of those. So they go two on top, two on those tight sides. And I will place two on the bottom. Directly attach on the bottom. So those are vanguards. Then our second weapon. And those I will attach underneath. So the second weapon is class B now, PBO. 175 auto helium beam we attach those two in here i like to have vanguards on the first weapon slot as well uh, because those are really good for disabling enemy engines to capture it as they are very higher fire rate not too high damage to in instantly destroy a ship and a lot of them is firing so it's quite convenient to use vanguard to disable engine instead of firing all weapons and blowing up the ship when you try to capture it now we assign those two unfortunately to finish we need to move to another spot to get remaining one weapon the one weapon is still missing so we need to move now so as it is now we have oh two warnings so i forgot to attach the shield of course here on top there is a shield and a shield we are after is from Vanguard as well. So you need to join Vanguard to get it. That class B 1450 shield. Amazing power for the shield. Just perfect. If I would go with class C reactor, I could get a shield that is 1500, but that just slightly a little tiny bit more and so much weight would be added that I would need way much power for engines when here two engines are enough. So now we can save it and we are going now to Valo system. So the second system from those two going over each other and we are jumping into Polvo planet, Hope Town. And here, this time around, we don't actually need to go inside. We don't need all the Hope Tech parts. We can talk Not with this technician sure. on the landing pad. It? And what is still missing is the last weapon that we need to attach. So you have more attachment than you need, so we can choose where you will attach. Only three of those can be placed. And we are looking for Exterminator 95 Auto Helion Beam. We can have three of those placed. So I put two on the wings, on the side, and one on the middle. So that's how it is. We assign now the weapon exterminator on the third slot. The secret of combat, of course, is to fire all the slots simultaneously. Now what's left? Paint it. So we are painting the entire thing, what I like color-wise. First one black, uh, then go for second color aggressive red and third color aggressive red but you can absolutely paint it better than me I, I just like it and you can rename it as you please i called mine red viper and after everything is done that how this beauty look like in the builder when completed it looks even better in the flight as you were able to see in my opinion, the best possible. Everything balanced out to keep 180 speed, 
100 mobility, good jump range. I have 29. I do have a perk that increases it by 15%. So you will have about 25, if I'm not mistaken with my calculations. But you will have enough. Max crew 6. I didn't found more than 6 crew members to be useful as of yet. Uh, good shield, good hit points, incredible damage. 72, 83, 85. That's at least what's showing on uh, this page. But those are three most powerful weapons available in the game. All installed on this incredibly fast and tanky ship. The only thing it does not have is cargo. Everything else is in here. Let me know what you think. Give it a shot. And that being said, I wish you a good day and see you in the next one.